guys i'm so glad to be doing this chit chat with y'all so i got a lot of new products on my shirt you guys so instead of doing a haul i just wanted to do a chit chat first impression with this tutorial so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it and um yeah let's do this oh disclaimer this is going to be a very very just over the top on everything because i have not been able to wear a lot of makeup in a while and i've really been waiting to do tutorials for you guys so but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to prime my face with the uh, Maybelline baby skin and I'm gonna put it right here where I feel like my pores are Okay, so for my first new product in this tutorial, I wanted to use my new spray, and it's the Mario, I think it's pronounced Badescu, Rose Water Spray, and it is the bomb. It smells so good. So yeah, you can use this for your hair, your body, and your face, it says. I would only use it for my face. Um, it does give off like a little sticky layer, so I have loved use I've been loving using this for my face because it's sticky and it allows the makeup to last all day. So we're just gonna let that sink in. Concealers. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime with the instant age and wine concealer by Maybelline. Um I've been loving this lately. This is in the color honey. And you just blend it in with your finger. My brows are already done. You guys can check out my brow tutorial. And I pretty much do the same thing. And I'm just going to set that with um, some loose CoverGirl powder. Okay, so for my shadows, I'm going back to my Oud, but still a goodie, um, e.l.f. palette. It's perfect for fall, and I love it to death. And we're going to go into the crease, and I'm going to take this brown color with the fluffy um, Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Y'all know this is my baby. And we're going to bring this pretty far up so we can get that gradient working. And then I'm going to go ahead and go into my lid color just right off the bat. And we're going to use this green color right here. It's got some sparkles in it. Matches my top and everything. So uh, before I put the lid color on, I'm going to use another new product for you guys. And this is the Max Mixing Medium. Um, this is an eyeliner base, but it also helps with putting stuff on the lid and for it to be super pigmented and it won't... Um, transfer into your crease and that was my main reason for getting this product like i've tried it out and i love it and a little goes a long way you just need a little dot just to do your mobile lids you don't need a lot and to apply this i'm going to use my mac 242 brush that my boo got me <laughs> and i'm going to take this and apply it to the uh, mobile lids If you don't have the Max Mixing Medium, you can easily just use like a gel assurance um, type of thing, or you can use Fix Plus or something. But uh, this is just going to ensure that it's not going to get into our crease. So go ahead and slather that green color on top of the Mixing Medium. Okay, so now that we got that green base down, we're going to go ahead and go back into the crease and get those harsh lines out. So I'm going to go in with the angle brush from Sonya Kashuk. <clears throat> this right here is just pretty fluffy and it's angled. And I'm going to go back into that transition color and I'm going to blend out those harsh lines.
just take your time. A tip I can give you guys is when you're holding your brush and you're doing your crease, if you already have the lid cover on there, it's best to do your brush at an angle. Like, go in an angle and hold it upward. Don't just go in like this because you're just going to rub all your lid cover off. So, at an angle, holding it upward and blend out that harsh line. Okay, so now that we got the basis of the harsh lines blended out, I'm going to go in with a darker color. And I'm going to go into my tart lip palette. And I'm going to take Rebel. Rebel right here. You guys know Rebel is my favorite, favorite color in this palette. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the crease with that too. And first I'm going to go with a more um, small brush to pack it onto the crease. And then I'll blend it out with a fluffy brush. So just get some of that. And start in the crease. And then we're going to go ahead and add a darker color to the outer V. And I'm just going to take uh, my Tarte dual sided brush that I got from my Light of the Party palette. And I'm going to go in with the color Smoke Show. And I'm going to put that on my outer V. Packing it on... And then using that fluffy side to blend it out. And we're not going all the way in with this color. We're just keeping it on the outskirts. So now that we got the base for our look and our eye is pretty much complete, we're going to go ahead and do the um, inner tear duct. Well, no, not the inner tear duct. We're going to go ahead and do the middle. So I want something to be in the middle of my lid. So I'm going to go back into my 242 brush. And I'm going to take the color Funny Girl from the Tarlet in the Bloom palette. And I'm going to put that right in the center of my lid. Okay, so now we got that. And I'm going to go ahead and use a ColourPop shadow to put on top of the Funny Girl. It is in the shade um, Birthday Girl. Focus. It's in the shade Birthday Girl and it is so, so gorgeous. And I'm going to put that right on top of the Funny Girl. And I'm just going to use my finger. These ColourPop shadows are like a um, smushy gushy texture so you don't really need to use a brush you can but it's really best to use your finger okay so we are sparkling for the dogs so okay now that we got that down we're gonna go ahead and do the um lash line at the top and what I'm going to do is take just a small angle brush from Sonya Cashy. And I'm going to take that color Smoke Show. And I'm going to put it right on the edge of the top of my lash line to create just a nice little black um, like faux liner look. Because I don't want to wing liner with this look. But I do want to um, hide my lash line. So I'm going to put Smoke Show right there. Okay, so for today, I want to use some really, really, really dramatic lashes, and I'm going to bring out an old pair that I haven't used in a long time, and it is the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour Lashes. These are my favorite lashes. They're just so fluffy and big, and I love them. So I'm going to apply my lashes, and I'll be right back. So I got my lashes on, and... I just really, I love these lashes. I forgot how freaking much they just, they're bomb. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the face. I've already applied my primers and everything that's already soaked into the skin. So I'm going to go ahead and go with my foundation. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Cover FX. And um, this is the oil free foundation in the color NC50 and NC90. One is too dark and one, this is the one right here, NC uh 
90 and NC50. One is too dark and one is too light, so I'll mix them to get the perfect shade. And um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into voiceover mode for this because you guys see my foundation routine a thousand times. Um, I do have a lot of new products I'm going to use on my face, but I will be getting them, um, describing them in detail to you guys in the voiceover. So now I'm going to go ahead and just do my face and get into voice mode. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mix up um, N90 and N50 together to get my perfect complexion. And again, this is the Cover FX Foundation Oil Free. It is absolutely amazing, you guys. It blends out so good. It covers every single thing. It's full coverage. It's a thicker foundation, so if you're not into that, you might not like this. It's very much like a L'Oreal Infallible, but it's way more luminosity into it. And I love, love, love the coverage and the finish that it gave me. It is absolutely amazing and this regularly retails for forty dollars i had a sample from sephora but y'all know i'm going back to get the big bottle next for my under eye i'm going to take the becca under eye corrector and i actually purchased this over my birthday weekend also it is the bomb.com you guys i'm using a sonia kashik flat concealer brush to apply this and you put it all under your eyes where you have any dark circles or um, like hyperpigmentation. And it's just a dream for my under eyes, you guys. I absolutely love it. And I'm going to blend this out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge also. It's very thick in the pot, but once you put it onto your skin and it warms up, it thins out and it just blends so good. I will even use this by itself. Look at the finish. So next I'm going to take my new concealer and it's the It's Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is in the color D. This is a thicker concealer. It's just like the Master Concealed by Maybelline and the Tarte Maracuja. This one is way, way, way more like my skin tone. So I'm going to put another concealer on top just to add some light to it. And as you can see, these two together, these are my new dream team, you guys. Definitely, definitely, definitely expect to see these in my new monthly favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that master conceal that I was talking about. I wanted the consistencies to match, so I'm just going to add a couple of dots to add some more light to my um, under eye and blend that out. And this is in the color medium. And I'm going to take the rest of that and put it on my forehead, my cupid's bulb, and the bridge of my nose, and just a little bit on my chin just to add some balance to my face. You don't want to just highlight your under eyes because your face is going to look unbalanced and it's going to stick out like a sore thumb and not in a good way. So we're going to go ahead and just set that right away with the CoverGirl Medium Translucent Powder. You guys know that that is my absolute favorite. Dust off that powder. <laughs> But now I'm going to go ahead and um, set the rest of my face with a, a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Dark. You want to make sure you set your face before you go in with any kind of powder bronzer because it's not going to lay right. It's going to be kind of blotchy. So make sure you put some powder over your foundation before you go in with your bronzer. And I'm using, of course, the MAC Give Me Sun. <laughs> but first I'm going to go under my lash line and use the color Leader. And I'm going to take that with the um, e.l.f. Blending Brush. It felt so good to do my eye makeup. I really, really missed it. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to take my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm going to go in with the color Funny Girl again and just slather that in the middle corner and just get it super, super bright. I had something in my eye right here and it was pissing me off, <laughs> but I ended up getting it. And once you're done with your inner corner, you are done with the entire eye look. Yeah, honey. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face with the MAC Me Sun. And I'm using the Sonia Kashik Powder Brush from my Holiday Brush Set. The brushes are still standing strong. I absolutely love them. If you guys can get your hands on them still, please check them out. They're absolutely amazing. If you guys want to um, highlight and contour video, let me know in the comments below. I can do that for you guys. But um, I do this every video. Then I'm going to go ahead and clean up my contour with my CoverGirl Medium Translucent Powder because I don't want it looking all blown out today. 
And for blush, I'm using the Tarte Holiday Palette. I'm using the colors Prim and Beaming. And I'm going to put that in the hollows of my cheek and on the apples of my cheek. Pack it on, pack it on, pack it on. And for my highlight, you guys, I have the benefit What's Up, you guys. And it is a cream um, highlighter. And it comes with a sponge on the bottom. And it's not really that good. I think it's way better when you use your finger because the warmth from your skin just kind of melts it into your face. So blend that in real good and put it on all the high points of your face. So I'm going to put it on my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. And wait until I put something on top, you guys. It is going to be so freaking bright. Look at that glow. And this is just the base. So for the first highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and go in with an Odie but goodie. You guys know I love me some MAC. Go deposit, y'all. I went back to my baby. And I'm using the Sonia Kashuk, um, what is this, a concealer brush? And I'm applying that all on top of the Benefit What's Up. Look at that glow. Ah, oh, yes. And then I'm going to go a little further, and I'm going to go in with Lori Geller Gilded Honey. And I'm using this with the fan brush. I like to apply it best with the fan brush. And you don't have to get this intense, but this is just how I like to do it. I want to be a fucking disco ball. And, of course, Max Oh Darling to finish everything off. Bam. So now we're going to do the lips. And I did get the new Kylie Lip Kit. And I only got one shade. It's in the color Dolce K. It comes with a um, crayon liner and a liquid lipstick. This is my fucking jam. The color is so beautiful. It's neutral. It lasts all day. It's comfortable on the lips. It's moussey. It's creamy. It's nothing like ColourPop Cosmetics. People are saying that they're dupes. No, they're not. It looks nothing like Beeper. It's way more brown. And I'm going to have to give me another one because I've been wearing this every day since I got it. And once you apply this to your lips, you are done with this look. Be sure to just bathe for like an hour and a half in Fix Plus. <laughs> because that's what I did. And once you're done with that, this look is done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one.